Hello, hello, my dear students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here to the early birds, right? We are still missing three minutes to its start, but it is so nice that all of you are here already. Okay. Okay, I have a couple of you here. That's very nice. Aleida, welcome. Eden Nielsen, welcome. Thank you. Horacio, welcome. Magdiel, Nelson, and Paola, welcome. We are 20 in the class, so I hope all of them are going to connect in some minutes. Well, it's a, it's a big pleasure to have you here. Is this your first time in classes or you have been studying during this time? Uh, for day. me, it's the first time. Oh, it's your first day. Oh, that's so yeah. nice. I am very glad to be your first teacher. I hope you enjoyed oh. the class. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I hope to. Very so good. So, Horacio, it's your first time as well? Yes. Okay. What me about too. Nelson? Me too. Okay, you are. it's your first time. It's so nice that yes. I have a lot of new faces here. <laughs> but it's very okay. good. Because it is very common that many students just like go, for, for example, they are coming from beginners five and they continue studying. But it is so great that I have new faces here. Magdiel, is this your first class or you have been studying before? Hello. Hello. Have you been studying before or this is your first class? It's it's uh, first first class ah, with you. Another, okay, with me, but with, with English corporativo. No, no. Ah, no, okay, with... okay. So with English corporativo, you have a you have a story no. there. Yes, so nice. Eden Eden Nilsson. Is, is it Eden Nilsson or Eden Nilsson? Song teacher. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. Is it your first time, or you have been studying here before? No, I have been uh, studying with English Corporative about five months, six okay. months. Okay, so you have been exactly yep. like since module number one. Uh, yeah, very good. Paola, what about you? Have you been studying before or is this your first time? Uh, hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good night. Good evening. Uh, good evening. <laughs> it's my first time. Okay, another first timer. That's pretty awesome because we are going to learn together. What about Hernan? Good evening. Good evening. Is this your first time studying or you have been here before? Yes. Uh, first is class. Okay, but with Inglés Corporativo, have you been studying before? Uh, yes. Okay, so you know you know the process of this one. Okay, so I am very, very glad to welcome everybody to this class. I am fighting here with my, with my things. Okay, so today we are going to start your course, Beginners 6. It is a big pleasure for me to be here with you. And we are going to start our class by checking a little video that I think that you have watched before, but it is always good to remember who are the ones who make all these things possible. So here we have our institutional. El Insafor 
ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Teacher. Teacher, your mic. Turn on your microphone. And that's the secret of the eternal happiness. Yeah. Ese es el secreto de la eterna felicidad. Si lo anotaron, pues me alegra. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, mis I was mistaken there with my microphone. I was telling you that, I, that we are very, very happy to be part of the Insafor family and for sure to be helping and collaborating every single day by uh, teaching English uh, to this type of courses. And I know you are very, very willing and open to learn, okay? Because I really admire the big effort that every single student does to be here as part of the class. So you have all my respect and I will do my best to serve you in the best way possible. Very important details that we need to keep in mind. Something that it's, uh, 
it's a must as part of the class is to have your camera on during the complete session. The complete session, it means the 120 minutes of the class, your camera has to be active. I really appreciate the fact of um, you allowing me to enter to your houses. De veras que siempre les agradezco esto que me permitan entrar a sus hogares, el hecho de que me permitan ser parte de su casa, así como yo les permito ser parte de la mía. Y pues no importa que de repente me dice, Ticha, pero estoy tomando café, estoy tomando agua, me estoy comiendo algo. Está bien. La cuestión es que siempre los vea activos. No que de repente me dejen aquí platicando y ustedes por allá en la cocina. ¿verdad? Y yo ahí, Carlitos, Nelson, Horacio, eh, Nelson, y ustedes por allá, vea. Y solo se oye que le dicen, te están hablando, te están hablando. <risa> Entonces, para asegurarnos de que todos estamos colaborando, aprendiendo y participando, nuestras cámaras tienen que estar activas durante toda la sesión, desde que nos conectamos hasta que la sesión termina. Cada día, pues, eh, obviamente nos vamos a conectar las dos horas diarias y pues para mí también me sirve mucho que usted esté con su cámara para que yo lo pueda ver, que usted practique, que articule correctamente, que usted también esté practicando el idioma. ¿Ok? The English classes are in English. So, we are going to use English most of the time. If you need help in a specific things, ask me. Okay? Teacher, I need help. Teacher, I don't understand. Teacher, can you repeat that? Make sure that you ask questions. Okay? If we need to repeat it 20 times, we are going to repeat it 20 times. But I want you to learn. Okay? Si lo vamos a repetir 20 veces, lo vamos a repetir 20 veces, pero nos aseguramos de que todos aprendemos al mismo tiempo. Algunos tienen un mejor ritmo, algunos van un poquito más despacio, pero todos nos colaboramos. El chat de WhatsApp es un chat educativo, obviamente. Mantengámoslo educativo, pueden compartir eh, videos, links, eh, artículos, cuestiones que les ayuden a mejorar el idioma. De repente ahí... El, no van a mandar algún TikTok chistoso, algún volado ahí, porque nos salimos, pero ahí empiezan a mandar todo y de ahí lo inundamos de memes y eso no. Podemos buscar ahí alguna cosa educativa que nos aporte, vea. Utilícenlo. Use the WhatsApp group because I am going to give you a little homework there, like one or two days a week. I am going to give you homework, but I really need you to use it for you to practice. The only way to learn English is through practice. That is the only way that you are going to do very good in English. But if you say like, ay, teacher, es que no estoy aprendiendo, es que me cuesta. But you don't practice. Ay, teacher, es que no entiendo. But you don't ask questions. So please make sure that you practice your English. So we are beginners six. And this is me, right? I am going to show you my little profile here. And uh, this is me. My name is Evelyn Natalie Monterrosa. I am a licenciada en idioma inglés. And I have a lot of many other things that I have studied, right? I have studied a lot of diplomados in methodology. I have studied a lot of courses in leadership, a lot of courses in didactics and pedagogy, planning. And for sure, I have been working with English for 19 years of my life. Yes, I know that I look like 20. I started when I was two years old, <laughs> but I started when I was very, very young. So I have been a teacher for 19 years. I have worked for different universities. I work for an American Institute in Santa Ana as well. I work also at a foundation in Santa Ana. I was a translator and an interpreter. I work for Programa Empresarial Superate for 10 years. Then I am working now with Regal International that it's, well, Inglés Corporativo. I am the principal of English Learning Center in San Salvador, right? And I am a Fulbright T alumni. I, I was part of a scholarship for the American Embassy, and I was learning in the United States for two months. That's why I was not teaching classes during these months. I was there working and learning more about English. So this is me, and with all the things that I have learned, I always say this. No sirve de nada tener el conocimiento si no se comparte. So, I am going to do my best to prepare every single class and for you to get the best of me. So, 
remember all the classes are being recorded, right? We record every single class and you need to have 80% of average in homework and evaluation, right? We have the platform as well that I am going to show you in a couple of minutes, right? You are going to find all your homework in the platform and the homework is there. If you want to advance in the platform, you can do it. Okay? Si usted me dice de repente, teacher, yo quiero avanzar en la plataforma, quiero hacer los siguientes ejercicios, that's perfect. Right? But the idea is that you complete all the exercises in the platform. You also have a student manual that you can download. I am going to show you where. And for sure, all the homework about uh, the platform are there. And for sure, InsaForp is going to be checking every week that you are advancing on the platform, okay? InsaForp revisa semanalmente que usted avance en la plataforma. Todas las semanas usted tiene que ir avanzando. Si usted la termina pronto, pues súper bien. Si tiene dudas, siempre en el chat de WhatsApp nos puede escribir, teacher, tengo dudas en el ejercicio tal, número tal. Y pues yo con muchísimo gusto voy corriendo, me meto y le asisto en las, en las necesidades que tengan acerca de la plataforma. We have midterm and final exams in the platform. I recommend you to finish the midterm exams by November 11. I am going to be reminding you on the, on the WhatsApp group, don't worry. And the final exam, it's on uh, Friday the 25th, November 25th because we are going to finish the module on November 28. So we need to be careful about this, okay? Para el 11 de noviembre, tenemos que haber completado la mitad de la plataforma con los midterm exams. Para el 25, el final exam, para que usted esté tranquilo y nadie lo ande presionando el lunes, de que mire, mire, hay que entregar la plataforma. Y va a tener a Teacher Nati detrás de usted, acordándole a la plataforma, hijo. Y ahí me van a tener acordándoles, no tengan pena. Creo que el que se le pasan las fechas conmigo es porque de veras no lee los mensajes. Porque sí, les mando recordatorios, les digo, las estoy ahí acordándoles siempre de lo que tenemos que ir haciendo. So, you will be there, don't worry. So, please, remember, you have the manual for the class and it is on the platform. I am going to show you in a moment. Remember, when you connect to the platform, you have to have your complete name on uh, your screen. So uh, you can change it there on, on Zoom, right? It asks you to put your name, put your complete name, exactly as what you have in your DUI. If you are just a listener, please write listener next to your name. The camera has to be on during the complete session, for sure. If you are not using the microphone, keep it silent. I am going to ask you to participate a lot, but in some cases you have the dog, the, I don't know, the vegetables, whatever thing outside your house, the bread. It's very popular in my classes, you will see. But make sure that you keep the microphone off, right? Gracias al COVID aprendimos a saber a qué hora pasa el pan, a qué hora pasa la verdura, a qué hora pasa la de los tamales, la de los pupusas, a qué hora pasan vendiendo las mascarillas. We know all this thanks to the microphones that are never off. So please keep them off if you are not using it. So. Little things, you have to attend your 100% of classes. It is going to help you to learn more, right? 120 minutes of class, because it is not that you just connect and that's it, right? No es solo de que me conecté unos minutitos y ya me cuenta la asistencia. No. Se le lleva un seguimiento bien detallado acerca de todos los minutos que estuvieron conectados. ¿Para qué? Para lograr ese 80% al final del módulo. I am going to take attendance two times. Les voy a pedir asistencia en dos ocasiones, a las 8.20 y a las 9.40. Ya en un ratito les voy a pasar asistencia. Y when I say your name, you can say here or present, right? You can say present or here when I say your name. And let me see. At the end of the class, I am going to have 10 minutes with one person every day. Today, I am going to have my 10 final minutes with the first person on the list that you are going to see who the person is. Every day, I am going to assign these 10 minutes for you to ask questions. If you have doubts, if you can practice a little bit more, if you can talk or if you need, pieces of, uh, if you need pieces of advice, I am going to uh, give them to you there. 
I cannot give you permission to miss a class. If you have a very, very important thing that you cannot change or that is very, very personal, you have to inform this to the in support people. Okay? Si en algún dado caso hay un problema sumamente fuera de su alcance que tiene que atenderlo o que requiera al 100% de su presencia, tiene que ir directamente con los encargados de inglés corporativo. Porque yo no puedo brindarles permiso y eso les queda como un día fallado. Okay. Eh, any question? Yes, I have a question. Yep. Um, I have done now the, the manual of the platform, uh -huh. but it's incomplete. Okay, we we're going to check it. How many units do you have? No, no, I don't have unit. Ah, okay. This. Okay, so if not, I am going to share it with you as well on the WhatsApp group so you can download it. I am going to send it to you right now. Okay. So maybe it's the problem with the one that is on, on online, but we are going to open it as well. So just give me one second. This is going to take just one minute for the group. There you go. So you have the, uh, the book in the WhatsApp group as well. Solutions here, like in a Thank moment. You. Aquí si no lo tengo, lo encontramos, y si no lo hacemos, pero resolvemos. <laughs> you will see. Okay, good. So the last one in Zoom, remember that you have the mute button that it's for the microphone, the camera that has to be on. We have the chat room that we are going to be using a lot for participation. I sent you a message there for you to keep on the platform. And we also have reactions, right? We also have reactions and you have the space to raise your hand, right? In some cases it recognizes when you do this, but this one is, it doesn't want to do it well. But in some computers it does, that when you raise your hand, it recognizes you and it raises the little hand. But if not, you have the reactions there. And if you need help, you raise your hand. If you like something that happened in the class, you can send a reaction there. You can send a little heart there, okay? Or if you just want to clap there, you can do it as well. The idea is that you enjoy every single moment of your class. And for sure, I am going to go back here a little bit on, let me see, here you have. This is the curse that we have or a, can you check on my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen, my dear students? Yes, yes, I can see. Okay, so there you have it. This is the platform that you are going to be using for you to work. And on this platform, you are going to find many different sections that are the ones that include all the information and the homework. So what you have here, let me just, okay, here you have it. And you have different sections for you to work every day. In section one, as you can see, if you open it here, it is going to have five different exercises. It takes a little bit of time. There you go. The ones that have a little pencil are the homework or the exercises in the books you are going to find the recordings, okay? En este lado que tiene como las, las, las filmitas de, de video, aquí van a estar todas las conferencias de todos los días. Aquí, en los que tienen el lapicito, son ejercicios, okay? So you need to complete all the exercises. Some of them are easy, some of them are a little bit complicated, but not really difficult, right? So as you can see here, you have different exercises that you need to complete in every single section, okay? So you can go around them. If you want to answer them, you can go ahead and do it. And you finish with this um, homework as soon as you can. So as you can see here, you have different exercises that you have to, uh, to complete. And here, most of them are multiple choice and they are very like, according to the classes that we are receiving. 
muchos de los estudiantes dicen, teacher, pero es que yo no lo hice porque no habíamos visto ese tema. You can advance and you can come back, you can correct, there is no problem. Aún si lo terminó y alguna le salió mala y ya se dio cuenta en la clase que era distinta, podemos regresar y corregir. No hay ningún problema. So, the manual of the students is on the top of the screen right here. Right? If you click there, you are going to find the manual. This one, it's true that it only has six pages. I am going to inform uh, people at Insaforp that it is not complete, but you have it in your WhatsApp group right now. Okay? Yes, this one only has six pages. But I have my today that we are going to use it. Don't worry. Okay? So, here you have it. I send it to you on your WhatsApp. I am going to call the attendance right now. And when you listen to your name, please say here or present, okay? I am going to call the attendance. Pay attention. If you listen to your name, say here or present. Here we go. We're going to start with my first person of the day, Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Andrea Sofia. Blanca Alejandra. Blanquita. Okay. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Present teacher. Cesar Homero. Cesar Homero Amaya. Okay. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Thank you. Horacio José Menéndez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Luis Ramos. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Guadalupe Flores. Carlita Flores. Oh, okay. She has problems with the audio, she says, but she's here. Thank you, Carlita, for the message. Uh, Paola Elena. Present teacher. Uh, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto. Here. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jasmine Elizabeth. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. And I have a uh, Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Se me quedó alguien que no lo mencioné? No. Hable ahora o calle hasta mañana. <laughs> okay. Thank you. If I missed it or if I skip it, please. Uh, tell me, teacher, you didn't mention my name and I am going to go back and do it. Don't worry about that. Well, my dear class, today we are going to work a lot. We are going to work on uh, different grammar topics. We are going to review a little bit of introductions, presentations and everything. And I think that I have been talking too much today. I am going to give you the chance to talk. So let me go back to my presentation here and we are going to start working a little bit on this. Here, this is what I was mentioning about the different weeks, the different sections that we have. I am going to send this to the WhatsApp group. Don't worry. Important before starting the class. Do you have a notebook and a pen with you? Can you show it to me? Let me just stop this for a second. I need to see the notebooks that you have. Or if you use a tablet, if you use the, an iPad or whatever thing to write, but I need you to have something to write on. If not, you are going to say, 
creo que lo mencionó algún día esa palabra, pero no sé dónde la escribí. You need to have a notebook for the class. ¿Ok? Si no, ahorita corra y le quita uno al niño que ya terminaron las clases y se lo trae. Because it's necessary. It is necessary to have a notebook for the class. It is important. Well, now that I can see that all of you have a notebook, I can say that we are going to start today. Uh, happy Halloween for everybody. Today is October 31st. And we are going to finish on November 28th, right? Here you have the divisions of the four weeks of classes. And as I was mentioning, I mentioned before about the attendance and about Zoom. Today, we are going to work a little bit on introductions. It's the welcome and the introductions. And for sure, I need you to tell me a little bit about you. You are going to tell me, this is me. I need you to write down on your notebook around five or seven lines of information about you. And you are going to tell me, who's the person that I am talking to? I told you a little bit about me here, right? This is the teacher, but you can give me more details. For example, I didn't give you the information that I love cats, I love dogs, I love to dance, I love to read, I love to listen to music, right? That's important information about you. Tell me about yourself. Write down a couple of lines from five to seven lines about yourself. If you want to tell me how old you are, that's okay. If you don't want to tell me, that's okay as well. But tell me important details that we need to know about you, okay? What do you consider important? I will give you some minutes for you to write them down. And when you have them ready, you can raise your hand and you can share them with the class. Y me van a decir, ¿por qué me pide que lo escriba si yo lo puedo decir así nomás? For you to organize your ideas. For you to organize your ideas on paper, right? And that's the importance of including listening, speaking, reading, and writing in every exercise. Remember to raise your hand when you have it ready. Any volunteer? Thank you, Aleida. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is um, 
it's a really a pleasure to be with you uh, this night on starting the class uh, with Inglés Corporativo. Uh, okay, my name is Aleida. I am 38 years old. Um, actually, I'm working for RIA Money Transfer as account, uh, account, account representative um, with this company. Um, um, I study English uh, with Prolingua around, I think, four years ago. Uh, and I really like to learn new things and meet new people. I like to travel <laughs> and visit new towns. <laughs> um, and I love the dog. And uh, thank you so much for sharing with me this night. Thank, Thank you very much. Hey, good reactions for your friend, my dear students. Thank you. Very good reactions for your friend. Excellent job, Aleida. So you're Thank 38 you. years old, exactly like me. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. It's okay. Yes, yes, it's nice. <laughs> it's the perfect age. Don't worry. It's the new. It's the new twenties. The new twenties. <laughs> Thank you, Aleida. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome, Mr. Rafael Antonio. Go ahead. <clears throat> Good night, guys, everybody. Uh, my name is Rafael Antonio Barrera. I like music and I like to dance. I also like to drive. Uh, for, for, for what? It's because for me, it is because for me, it is like a hobby. Okay. You like to read the Bible? What? What do you like to, to read? I, I, I lost it there. Dance, music, uh, and? Uh, I also like to drive. Ah, I said to read the Bible. That's a very good man, I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to drive. But, yeah, my drive, yeah, that's drive. the importance of pronunciation. Uh, you see, for, it's, my, my, it's, my, uh, it's like your my hobby. Work, yeah, in my work, in my work, um, I like driver. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. very good. But my my Saturday and Sunday, I know working in my work. Uh, I go to the the tours. The okay. driver nice so you drive on tours that's so nice because yeah. you you go on vacation and then you practice your hobby that's so nice no no no, no. for me every every weekend <laughs> nice every weekend is vacation that's very beautiful yeah. <laughs> nice okay let's see who's next thank you rafael reactions for rafael people yay thank you rafael very good job Thank you, thank you. Who's next? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Raul Ernesto. Go ahead. Ay, Elenilson, you're next. Raul and then Elenilson. Raul, it's your turn. Who's the next? Me? Or... You? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> You are the next I one. Go ahead. Person. No, no, no. The one okay. and only. Go ahead. Uh, hello there. My name is Raúl. Uh, I am 35 years old, and currently I'm working at a bank. And I'm graphic designer, but currently my job is about user experience. In my free time, I like to ride on my bicycle, and sometimes I doing hike with my friends. Nice, you like to go hiking. Yeah. What is your favorite place for hiking? Mm, let me see, maybe my favorite right uh, currently is Ilamatepec. Ilamatepec, the, very challenging. Very good, fantastic. Thank you, Raul. <laughs> Reactions for Raul, please. Thank you very much. Well. Thank you, Raul, very good job. Ellen Nielsen, go ahead. Okay, do you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Elenilson Aparicio. I'm 50 years old, and I'm currently working in an airport uh, like an uh, air marshal. Oh. I like play basketball and running. I like cats. I have one, by the way. So, nice. And uh, I've been English by myself for the last two years till now that I got uh, real classes with a teacher and you know how so nice what else what else um I like to meet people and and nice to meet you all nice to meet you too Ellen Nielsen very good reaction yeah, thank, you. thank you thank you what is the name of your cat uh Walton 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 uh, like uh Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, nice. So it's, it must be a very beautiful cat. <laughs> Thank you very it's much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a special. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. <laughs> Who's next? Five, four, three, two, Carlos. Very good job. Go ahead. Hey, well, uh, this is my first day in this class. Um, I am technical support. I am patient. Uh, I like to watch a movie and go to the cinema. Uh, I don't like the coconut and I like uh, the cats and dog. In fact, uh, I have one dog, a big dog, and I have two cats, one, black, uh, one gray and one white. Oh, and I uh -huh. live in Serapango. Excellent. Very good job, Carlos. Fantastic reaction for Carlos. So you don't like coconut. How do you survive in El Mahawal? No, I don't like coconut. How do you, sur <laughs> how do you survive in El Tunco? No, oh my God. I, it's like... Like... I like with beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Here like... we drink coconut water. We are very good <laughs> students. What are those things? Whoosh. People, come on. <laughs> Okay, que es eso? Que es eso? we don't know what that is. Thank you very much, Carlos. Who's next? Uh -huh. Five, four, three, thank you. Nelson, don't don't let me go up to one because I'm going to choose anyone. Nelson, go ahead. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Nelson Peraza. I'm 20 years old, 29 years old. Ah, okay. I work as <laughs> I work as a system engineer at the bank. I love the dogs. I have one. His name is Blackie. Uh, I like to go out in tours. I like the animals. And I like the I like to play basketball and I love the movies. Nice. You can go with Rafael. He goes on tours every weekend. Yes. <laughs> okay, Nelson, very good job. Thank you very much. Reactions for Nelson. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, quitarte un año, sí, vea, pero quitarte nueve, come on, it's like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, that was perfect. Excellent job, right, excellent job, Nelson. Who's next? Five, four, three, two, one. Carla Flores, thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Carla Flores. I have the thir thir 35 years old. Um, I work in the call center um, of the receptionist. And um, I have two, two daughters. Uh, your name is Sofia and Camila. And I love the dancing and the listen to the music and I watch an anime with my daughters. Okay, you like to watch anime with your daughters. Very good job. Yeah. Thank you. So when you okay. refer to your age, when you refer to your age, remember you say I am and you give me the number, right? I am 30 years old, 31. And when you refer, for example, to someone else's, they say like, I have two daughters. Their names are, right, because you are talking about them in this case, their names are. 
So that's something for you to keep in mind. Thank you, Carlita. Reactions for Carla, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Horacio, go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is Horacio. I am four years old and I am married. I have two child, one boy and one girl. And I like play soccer and read and watch sport on TV. And my favorite place is the beach. And I haven't puppies uh, because I'm allergic. Um, mm. is, is that. Okay. In this case, you say, I do not have, I do not okay. have pets or puppies, right? I do not have pets or puppies because you are allergic. Oh my God. I'm very sad because of that. And they are so beautiful. Mr. Magdiel, go ahead. Thank you, Horacio. Reactions for Horacio. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, this is Magdiel Garcia, and I am 30, 32 years old. And I'm happy for, for staying here tonight. And currently, I, I work in a mechanic, and I love Play the, play the guitar and play football. And I have a little child, child. and that is all. Okay, you ha I have a little child, that's very good. Yeah. When you have only one, it can be child yeah. or kid. But if you have more than one, it's children, right? That's the yes. plural of child. Very good job, thank you very much, Magdiel. And reactions for Magdiel as well, very good. Let's go with Mr. Juan Francisco. Good evening. Hello. Hey, my name is Juan Francisco. I am 37 years old. I like to play soccer. Uh, I, I work as Horror House Manager and Fire Laboratories. I live in Sayapango. Okay, very good job. And in this case, remember, practice with me. You say years old. I am 27 years old, right? I am just to give a number, right? But the pronunciation is years, 37 years old. 37 year old. Years old. Year old. Old with D at the old. end, old. Very good job. There you go. You have it. When you say I live, I live in. Right? Live is when you transmit something. For example, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, that is live. But I live in, right? I live as yo in, vivo in, in, right? I live in Soyapango. Very good job. Thank and you, you're welcome. You're welcome. We are here to learn. And let's see, Paola Linares. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is Paola. I am 40 years old. Um, I have a uh, two child and I like the dogs. I have uh, three dogs. Um, I work in Coagro, um, says, uh, I don't know. Uh, my word is says. Okay. Um, that's all. Okay. Very good. When you say I have two childs, no, you say I have two children or I have two kids, right? That's important. Let's keep it in mind. Thank you, Paola. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Reactions for Paola, please. Thank you very much. And let me see who am I missing? Who am I missing? Jose Luis Ramos. Go ahead. Okay, hello. Hi. My name is Jose Luis Ramos. I am 25 years old. I live in Soyapango and I, and I work as an accounting assistant and I like listen to music and watch movies on Netflix. And honestly, I don't like dogs, but I like cats. Very good. Okay, you don't like dogs, but you like cats. Good. Do you have a cat? I have one cat. You have one cat. In my house. Very good job. Right, you say, yes. I have one cat. Because if you say, I have a one cat, is un, un gato. Yes. Yeah, yes. I have a cat. Very good job. Thank you, Jose. Reactions, please. Very good job. And who am I missing? Let me see. 
Ten, ten, ten. Jasmine Hernandez, did I call you already? Jasmine, hello. Hello, it's me. Nothing. Okay, yeah, ya ven, este es el caso de la, de la cámara. Okay, I have Carlita already participate, Juan Francisco. Cesar Amaya, did you participate already? Yes, right. And I think I am not missing anybody. No se me queda nadie. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Eric, go ahead. Hello, my name is Eric Hernandez. Uh, I am uh, 24 years old. Uh, I live in Sonsonate. Este, I work at Global Pay Solution. Uh, I am a devel, uh, developer. Pardon. I am a software developer. Software developer. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I like listen to music and play the video game. Hey, nice. What is your favorite video game? All, <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Reactions, please, for Eric. Very good job. So you are a software developer. That's pretty awesome, right? You are the one in charge of all the logistics of the computer. That's so beautiful. Okay. Well, my dear class, thank you very much for sharing a little bit about you with me. And this is the idea. I really love to listen to you at the beginning of the classes for me to know a little bit of the professionals that I have here with me. Well, so today, the 10 minutes of the class will be for Aleida. Aleida is going to, uh, at the end of the class, I am going to ask you to stay for a moment and we can share a little bit of tips or questions that you have about uh, the classes, okay? So if today is for Aleida, tomorrow it's going to be for, let me see, Andrea Sofia and Blanca Alejandra. I am going to send you the list for you to have it as well. Well, my dear students, I don't know if you can see the screen, please confirm. Yes? Yes. Okay. We are going to brainstorm a little bit about can and can't. Have you ever listened about this topic? ¿Ya han escuchado acerca de este tema en el idioma inglés? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. what, what do you have in mind with can and can't? When do you use it? Possibility. Mm, possibility, it can be. Permission. Uh, for permission, good. Yeah, another branch of this one, good. Um, you can use it with uh, express abilities. Abilities, ding, 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 very good. Okay, you have possibilities, permissions. Uh, what is the other one? Say abilities, possibilities, permissions, what else? Talents, you can use it with talents, yeah. right? And you can use it to express the things that you can or can't do, right? The most important thing to differentiate this one is the pronunciation, because you can say, I can drive a car. So like it's can or can't, right? With the t sound at the end, you say, no, I can't do it, right? Practice with me. Let's do the positive form. Can. 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 I can, can dance. I can dance. I can dance. dance. She can dance. She, she, can, dance. Dance. she can, dance. can dance. Please don't say she can dance because the chicken dance is like the baile del pollo, right? She can dance. She can dance. Okay. Can dance. Say yeah. can do yeah. it. They, they can, can do it. it. They, they can, can do, do it. it. Okay, but unfortunately, mm -mm, they cannot do it. Let's do it negative. She can't dance. She can't dance. Okay, no tenga miedo de llenar de salir el micrófono porque está en su casa. She can't dance. She can't dance. I can't cook. I can't cook. I can't dance. I can't dance. Can't. 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 That's the difference. Can you tell the difference? Can, can't. Can, 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 can. That's very important. Tell me one thing that you can do and one thing that you cannot do. 
open your microphone and tell me. Only one, only one, please. Me. Please. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. I can play video games and I can't dance. Ah, oh. and the video games about dancing? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. Okay, what about the weed? I don't then? like. Okay, you don't like it. Oh. Very good. Thank you, Nelson. Another example. I can, I can play. drive a car, but I can't uh, drive drive bicycle or okay. yeah, motorcycle. Okay, I can drive a car, but I can't ride motorcycles. Good. MacDiel, go ahead. I can play the guitar and I can't dance. Ah, come on. And what about when you are playing? You don't dance? <laughs> oh no. my God. People, you have a lot of abilities that you haven't developed and they are together. Good. Thank no. you, Magdiel. Very good. Another example. Me. Go ahead. Um, I can't prepare eggs uh -huh. and I can't uh, prepare cake. Okay. You can prepare eggs, but you cannot prepare cake. Yeah, with the COVID, everybody became bakers. I don't know how you didn't do it. Yo creo que en el COVID, si no bajó TikTok, si no hizo pastel, si no hizo pan francés, no tuvo COVID. So I don't have TikTok, teacher. Oh, really? Oh, my yeah. God. No. I don't have it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No. Okay. Ni lo baje. No, no caiga okay. en ese mal. <laughs> yeah, ahí está bien. Ahí está bien. No, no, no lo haga. Horacio, give me your sentences. Oh, um, I can cook chicken. Uh -huh. I can't cook tamales. Ah, neither can I, so don't worry. Okay, uh -huh. you can cook chicken, but can, you cannot cook tamales. Who can cook tamales here? Let's see. Who can cook tamales? Raise your hand if you can do it. I can food. I can eat tamales. Yeah, I can eat tamales too, but I cannot cook them, right? <laughs> Hey, so in Christmas week, who's going to bring the tamales? Hey, people, hombre. <laughs> We're going to go to Bambang to buy them. Okay, let's see. Another example. I need one more example. Let me see from... Uh, Juan Francisco, give me one example. Ya ven, se me fue a comprar tamales. He's not there anymore. Okay, so I am going to give you my example. I can cook, but I can't ride a bike. So if the only way to escape from a zombie attack is on a bicycle, bye-bye <laughs> teacher. Yeah, I will be there. And I always say, I never run, but if you see me running, run. So, but I, I cannot do it. We're going to have a little conversation now, a little conversation practice, and I am going to share my book because I know that many of you have difficulties with the book. So I am going to share mine. And let me see. Here you have. I think you are able to see it. Can you read? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So here we have a little picture. What are the people on the picture doing? What do you think the people on the picture are doing? Here. I think it's customer service. Okay, it's customer service. What other ideas do you have? A job interview. A job interview, right. Can be a job interview. What else? It's asking for information. It's asking for information. Very good. Maybe deposit money in the bank. <laughs> Depositing <laughs> money in the bank. It can be. It can be. We never know. Right. But it was right. Right. He was in a job interview. And I am going to go over the conversation a little bit. And then we are going to practice it. Okay. Let me see. It says, uh, hello, Ben. And welcome, my name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. 
What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? Mm, I speak a little, I speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, exactly as the job interviews that we have in our country. It's like, tan, 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 you start tomorrow, right? What are some of the abilities that the person has? Can you mention some of his abilities? He can speak English and a little Chinese. He can speak English and a little bit of Chinese. Uh -huh. What else can you mention about him? What is a benefit that he has? He is a fast learner. So it means that anything that you teach him is going to get him very, very fast. What are some of the disadvantages that he has? Uh, that uh, he cannot use the spreadsheets. He cannot use the spreadsheets, but he is going to learn, right? Yeah. What is he good at? What is what type of things he can do very well? His good in sales. Okay, what else? Yeah, he it's says good, uh -huh. man, it is good in a uh, manage small and big pro and big projects. Excellent. He's good at managing small and big projects, and for sure, he is good at sales. Any new word or new vocabulary that you have here in the conversation? ¿Alguna palabra nueva que no conozcamos? What is the mean for the spreadsheets? The spreadsheets. Okay, let me give you an example. The spreadsheets are the ones that you use in Excel. I don't know if you have seen them. I think I have one open right here. Let me see. I think I have one here. These are spreadsheets. Right, let me show it to you. I don't know if you can see it. Where you can work with different names and different people. These are spreadsheets, okay? This is an example of it. To use Excel, basically, right? Those are spreadsheets. And any other new word that you have? Or pronunciation questions? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. For example, if I if I mm, let me see, if I say or if I try to say I can use Excel, I can only say I can use a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheet, spreadsheets. Okay, you can say I can use a spreadsheets. Yes, and uh, for example, uh, here. So you say, um, I can't, or I can't, depending, right? So, but what is your question specifically? If I say only I can use Excel. Yeah, you can say I can use Excel, or I am very good at Excel, at Excel. but that is in general, right? That it's yeah. everything in general. And Excel <laughs> is a big thing. And I don't know who's good at Excel here. Can you put an Excel aquí, veamos? No. Excel is a big <laughs> thing. Yeah, I, I respect it a lot because when you know and when you think that you know, he's like, yeah, something new. It's very, it's very popular. So it's spreadsheets or I am good with certain features of Excel. You can say certain features are specific things, right? Or I can manage Excel very well. Let's see. We are going to practice this conversation. I am going to be Andre, and you are going to be Ben on this conversation. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Natalie de Flores. 
Oh, nice everybody. to meet you, Natalia. Very good, Aleida. But all of you are Ben. Todos ustedes son Ben. Ben y ustedes son uno mismo. Okay. All of you are Ben. <clears throat> Nothing happened. Forget it. We are going to practice the conversation. I am going to be Andre and you are going to be Ben. Ready? Ready. Okay. Hello, students, and welcome. My name is Natalie de Flores. Very good. We are offering a lot of manager positions for a branch in El Salvador. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can well, speak Chinese. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak Chinese. I am fast learner. Learner, learner, right? Learner. Learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, I get it. When can you start? Only the boys. Please, only the boys. I think, how many girls do I have? I have Andrea, I have Aleida, I have Carla, I have Jasmine, and yes, only this, and Paola. But right now, only the boys, okay? Uh, boys, you are Ben, and I will be Andre. Go ahead. Hello, boys, and welcome. My name is Natalie de Flores. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Natalie. Natalie. We are offering manager positions for a branch in El Salvador. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, well can you speak English? So, you can manage a small and big project. I am very good. I am very good at sales. 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 That sounds sales. great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak Chinese. Okay, Chinese. You say Chinese. Chinese. Okay, Chinese. No, right. Chinese. Chinese. I get it. When can you start? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Very good. Okay, ladies, please. All the ladies, only the ladies, solo las chicas. Uh, I am Andre and you are Ben, okay? okay? Hello, ladies, and welcome. My name is Natalie de Flores. Nice to meet you, Natalie de Flores. Hey, and the other girls. Y las otras chicas, ¿qué pasó? Me dejaron botada. We are offering a manager position for a branch in El Salvador. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, well, I, I can speak well, English, I can small and big project, and I am very good at I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can, I can, I can speak, speak Chinese, 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 but, but I, I can, can use spreadsheets, but I am a fast, fast learner. learner. I get it. When can you start? Tomorrow, you say. Tomorrow, if you pay me two thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, if you pay me two thousand dollars for sure, you can start tomorrow. <laughs> Tell me, I need you to think on these two questions. What are some of your abilities, and if you are a fast learner or not? I need you to think on those two questions. What are some of your abilities, and if you are a fast learner or not? I am going to send you to work in little groups. And you are going to discuss with your friends what are your abilities for your work and if you are a fast learner or not. So try to practice your English in the groups because that is the most important part of this. You are going to receive an invitation to join a group and click on accept for you to go to the group. Okay? What are you going to do in the groups? ¿Qué vamos a ir a hacer a los grupos? Vamos a ir a hablar acerca de nuestras habilidades y si somos buenos para aprender rápido. Excellent, very good job. Thank you, Aleida. Let's go to the groups. Accept my invitation.
Okay, so now they are going to have a little time to have a conversation and discuss a little bit of the two questions that I post before leaving to the little groups. What are your abilities? And if you are a fast learner or not, let's go and check on the different groups to see how they are doing. Uh, I don't know who who is next. Who's next? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my my ability is only driver, but because for the and. I go to the Guatemala, on the Honduras, on Mexico, here in El Salvador, in San Salvador. But, but in my in my work, um, because for my I am the driver on in the shade the transportation for the people. San Salvador, con Malapa, con Malapa, con Bajir, San Salvador. But in the help help for the the co-worker and the pain and the car wash, the check the car, this is my ability. That's very nice. So you can do everything. Do you know a little bit of mechanics? No, 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 only driver. Only driving, right? But you know, like no. mm, something is wrong with the car and then you check it. Yeah, yeah, only check the oil, water, uh, but, uh, brake. But for the driver every day, the depending for my turn and the, for day or tonight. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Rafael. Who's next? I don't know, Andrea Jose Luis, did you already chair? Um, my ability is draw uh, because um, I like um, okay, I like uh, you like to draw. Yes. What is your profession? Licenciatura uh, en marketing internacional. Marketing, so you have to design and, and do and create yeah. stuff. That's good. That's very nice. So it's according to your to your abilities. Continue talking. I'm yeah. going to go and check on the next group. Okay. Did In you finish all the time? No. <laughs> In the all time. Uh, I Hello Nelson. Hola. Hola. Ah, okay, perdón. <laughs> okay. Este, sí, no, yo lo, lo, pienso que en mi caso igual una de mis habilidades es eh, estar con la tecnología, por ejemplo, no me cuesta aprender eh, en cuestión de programas, eh, en cuestión de computación, teléfonos o cualquier aparato que se me ponga enfrente. No, a veces no necesito ni manual. Uh -huh. Entonces, igual con las herramientas, no, no se me dificulta, pero, pero yo creo que con, con la tecnología es mucho más. Uh, series TV, but in English, uh, it's, it's very easy when you watch TV uh, a series by, for kids? Or movies? Mo no, <laughs> for me, series. Uh, I was watching uh, 
did you see Avatar? Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, so, uh, so, the Avatar, the Lane of Ang or the Avatar? No, uh, the Avatar, the, 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 the last very better. The last very okay. better. So, uh, uh, um, for for more say, well, I was watching this the series, but in English. Why? Uh, because I know I knew, I knew the 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 progress in Spanish. So now I uh, I listen in English. I know it in some sense what they say. Well, sometimes I lost. Yeah. Okay. Do you use the subtitles when you watch the movies in English? Sorry. Do you use the subtitles in English? Not usually. Uh, for example, uh, the series TV. Uh -huh. uh, como yo ya lo vi en mi anteriormente, verdad? Uh -huh. uh, now, when I when I play it again, but in English, I know how is the uh, the drama. Okay, uh, that's my recommendation that when, when you watch movies or series in English, use the subtitles so you can actually get the visual part of the English language. So you can see the words, you can listen to the pronunciation and you can see the structures of the sentences. My so, real problem, so uh -huh. my real problem with that is listening. Uh, I can learn uh, faster uh, writing, uh, speaking, but listening is my real problem. Okay, but it helps a lot when you read aloud, right? Okay. That's one recommendation that I can do. And I use it a lot with my students. I put the piece of the series, they read aloud, they try to imitate the pronunciation of the person, and that helps a lot with pronunciation, speaking, listening, reading, everything at the same time. So the tips of the group, I am sharing the tips here. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, okay teacher. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, welcome back, my dear students. I was listening to some of you sharing and that's very interesting, all the things that you can do. It is very, very curious to listen all your abilities. Some of you say, I am very good at technology. I don't even have to read manuals because I am very good with things. It is really admirable now how people are very good with technology. One day I was in a restaurant and I saw a two-year-old kid with a tablet watching YouTube and looking for videos. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? When I was two years old, I was just what? what I don't know why. I was like playing dirt or something. I don't know. But they are very good with technology. Well, thank you for this little conversation time that you have. Who... Uh, discover a specific abilities from your friends. Who can share? Alguien que haya descubierto alguna habilidad específica con sus compañeros? That you consider curious? Uh, me? Uh, my classmate Horacio, uh, she works in a financial department, but she hobbies is a uh, it's like uh, it's the technology. So you he, see. Okay, okay. So he works so, with the financial things, but his hobby is technology. Technology. So that's interesting because it's not much. But, exactly. Uh huh. But in but, the end, they are related, right? They are related. Very good job. Yeah, Thank you, Wilber. Yeah, um, okay. Thank you very very much. Someone else who wants to share a little bit of what you heard that you consider curious? No, no one. Who can tell me the abilities of Carlos? What abilities did Carlos share? Carlos Torres. 
what abilities did he share besides cooking eggs that he mentioned it before? Uh -huh. ¿Qué otras habilidades descubrieron de Carlos? ¿Qué otras les mencionó? Ajá, ya lo descubrí. En la diferencia entre listen and hear, right? Sometimes you hear something, but you don't listen. You don't pay attention. You have to be very careful when you share because I am always going to ask you. Cada vez que los mande a compartir, cuando vengan de regreso les voy a preguntar. ¿Qué le dijo? ¿Qué compartió? ¿Qué hizo? You have to take notes. You have to listen carefully, okay? You have to be pendent about what's going on. But I'm going to go back with this later on. So, when you talk about abilities for Ken and Kent, this is like the first thing I'm going to talk about. And these are the examples that I was sharing before. Let me know if you can see my screen. Thank you. So, with the examples that I was sharing before, you have Ken and Kent. And you have, I can sing, I can't sing. What is the next one? I can act. I can't act. Very good. I can't act. What is the next one? I can dance. I can I dance. I can't dance. Very good. And? I can swim. I can't, I can't swim. swim. Very good job. Can is very nice because you don't change anything else on the sentences. You only add affirmative or negative when you create sentences with it. And you say, I can sing very well. She can sing very well. We can sing very well, right? So you don't change anything on the subject or on the sentence when you use can talking to or talking about abilities. If you want to make a question, you put can at the beginning of the sentence the subject and the verb. Can you sing? Can you cook? Can you dance? Can you speak English? Now, for example, you cannot tell me, no, teacher, I cannot speak English. It's very difficult, you know, because you are speaking in English, right? It's like if you say, can you speak Spanish? No, español, no, no, no le ando manejando el español. Fíjese que bien complicado, no sé, no ha podido aprender español. And you are saying that in Spanish, right? In English is the same. You cannot tell me I can't speak English. You can say, I am learning. I can speak a little bit. Or I am learning English. I am on the process of learning, right? But you cannot tell me I can't speak English because you can do it. Si aprendieron a decir my name is, you can do it. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. When you use who, for example, at the beginning of the sentence, you are looking for a person with this ability. In this case, I can say, who can drive a car here? Who can drive Rafael. a car? Rafael. <clears throat> Rafael can, right? Very good. Who can uh, speak English? All of you can you. speak English. <laughs> All of us can speak English. Who can't ride a bicycle? Your teacher. The uh, teacher, Raul. right? The, the teacher, teacher cannot. Uh, Raul, you cannot ride a bicycle either. No, me oh. I can. <laughs> Thank you. Give me five. I am not alone in this world. That's so fantastic. I feel relief, definitely. Ya me siento tranquila, que no soy la única. En un ataque zombie, moriremos juntos. <laughs> if there is only bicycles to escape, we're going to die together. So, it is pretty simple to use a can when you are talking about a different abilities, right? Because you don't change much of the sentence, right? So you say, I can uh, work as a group, I can work in teams, I can create big projects, I can use the computer, I can use the cell phone, I can use the photocopy machine, right? Those are abilities for the work that you can do. A little bit in detail about this topic, I have here four different categories. And I need you to tell me what abilities from the ones that I have here 
on the side. What abilities from these ones that I have here match on each of the categories? I have musical, artistic, technical or mechanical, athletic abilities and other. And I have bake a cake. Bake a cake is for other type of abilities, right? What about design a web page? What type of ability do you think that is? Technical, technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical. Do gymnastics. Athletic. Athletic, Athletic right? What about fix a car? Mechanical. Mechanical. mechanical, right? Technical or mechanical. What about to fix a motorcycle? Technical, mechanical. Technical or mechanical. Or mechanical. Paint pictures. Musical, musical or, or artistic. artistic. Musical or artistic. Very good. What about play chess? Musical. Musical or artistic, right? Because it's a matter of the the brain, the health, right? right. Play the violin. Musical and artistic. Musical. Musical. Ride a horse. Athletic. Athletic, right? Yeah. Very good. And sing English songs. Musical. Musical, Musical or... right? Are you good at karaoke? Yes. Yeah. Do you like karaoke? Yes. yes. Yeah, oh. it's like, I don't sing yes. very well, but I do it with passion, right? <laughs> Surf? <laughs> yeah. Athletic. Athletic, very good. What about tell good jokes? Mm, other. Others. Other. Other. What is the meaning of jokes? Broma. Bromas yeah. or chistes. Chistes. Chistes, chistes yeah. right? <laughs> Who is good at telling jokes? <laughs> In Spanish, yes. <laughs> In English, they are like very, very bad. I am very bad with jokes in English, right? But they, they, I know a couple of them. I'm going to share them with you one of these days. So according to this, do you have any of these specific abilities that you can say that you are very good at that? You have the list there. You can analyze it for a moment. Teacher, what's yes. the meaning of chess? Chess, ajedrez. Oh. Yes, ajedrez. Yeah. Okay. Now that we finish analyzing it, I need you to do the following and I'm going to give you the example. Hi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am going to give you one example here. You are going to choose one thing in positive and you are going to say, I can, okay, I can play the piano, but I can, Okay, I can play the piano, but I can't fix a car. So this is my example. I can play the piano, but I can't fix a car. I need you to write three examples exactly like this on the chat. Go ahead. You can use the examples that you have here, even if they are not true, right? Aun cuando no sean verdad. Usted dígame, I can paint pictures, but I can't play chess. Okay, three examples on the chat. Go ahead. Send your examples on the chat. And I am going to connect my computer. Give me one second, I will connect my computer. Send the examples, three examples. Thank you. 
Okay, you can include your examples. Let's see. Okay, we have the examples. I can drive a car, but I can't. Oh, I lost it. Let's see. I can fix a motorcycle, but I can't play the violin. I can swim, but I can surf. I can ride a horse, but I can't surf. I can drive my car, but I can chatting at the same time. Okay, I can't chat, you say. I can bake a cake, but I can't play chess. I can fix a car, but I can't play chess. I can fix the computer, but I can't dance. I can take picture, but I cannot drive a car. Hmm. I can fix a car, but I can't play the, pia the video game. I can bake a cake, but I can't design a web page. Very good. I can fix. Uh, I can fix the songs car toy, but I can play with that. <laughs> Not because they get angry. I can fix my songs. You say my songs toy car or car toy. That's okay. I can drive a car, but I can't ride a motorcycle. In the case of the motorcycle, you ride it. Okay. I can take photos, but I can bake a cake. I can drive a car, but I can't fly a plane. I can play basketball, but I can't play soccer. That's so sad. I can do design. Okay. In this case, you say, I can do design a web page. No, you say, I can design. Or I can do the design of a web page. Okay. I can ride a bicycle, but I can't ride a motorcycle. I can play checkers, but I can't play chess. Good. I can do gymnastics, but I can ride a horse. I can sing English songs, but I can play the violin. Oh, remember, the, the letter I, when you refer to yourself, is always capital. La letra I siempre es mayúscula cuando nos referimos a nosotros. And can't, the apostrophe T, okay? I can sing English songs, but I cannot play video games. I can dance, but I can sing. I can paint pictures, but I can't do gymnastics, okay? Very good job. Thank you very much for the examples. Remember before but, you put a coma so you can separate the sentence. Antes de but, siempre ponemos una coma para poder separar las oraciones. Very good examples, the ones that you have there, my dear class. Excellent job, the one that you did. Very good. At the end of the sentence, remember to put a period. Siempre pongan un punto al final de la oración para saber que está terminada. Antes de but, coma. Okay, very good job. Let's continue then. Thank you for the ones who shared the sentence on the chat. Here I have some pictures. In the first picture, I wrote the example. And it says, I can't draw. I can't draw. What about number two? Is it positive or negative? Positive. I can. Positive. So it will be. What will be the sentence? I can act. I can act. I can act. Very good. I can act. It means that you are good at acting. What about number three? I can't sing. I can't sing. What about number four? I can, I can fix, fix cars. 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 I can fix cars, right? Because she's there. She's a very good mechanic, right? I can fix cars. What about number five? Do you see they are very horrible there at pennies. So they say? I can't play tennis. I can't play tennis. What about number six? I can't. I, can't I skate, skate very well. well. I can't I skate very I well, skate right? Very well. She's on the floor. I can't I skate very well. Number seven. I can't can play, play the piano. piano. I can't play the piano. What about poor number eight? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't cook at all, right? I can't cook at all, right? It's like mm -mm, nothing at all. It's like para nada. What about this one? These Se are the sentences. <laughs> yeah, the eggs. These are the sentences that we did. But in this one, you have only the pictures. The first one, 
Uh, Nelson, can you help me to read the example? She can play the guitar, but she can't play the piano. Okay, who can help me with number two? ¿Quién me ayuda con la segunda? I can use computing. Uh -huh. I can uh, I can not uh, fix TV. Okay, I can use the computer, but I can't fix the TV, right? I can't fix the TV. Who can fix TVs here? No one. And who can use the computer? Everybody. Everybody because we are connected, right? Thank you, coronavirus. Because now everybody can use computers. What about this ones? Number three and number four. I can play soccer. Yes, I can play football. Um, yeah, but I cannot sing very well. <laughs> she cannot sing at all. I think the uh, poor kids are very scared. <laughs> They're like, yeah. no, please stop singing. Mm -hmm. So she can play football, but she can't sing. What about number four? I can ride a bicycle, uh -huh. but I can drive the car. Excellent. I can ride a bicycle, but I can't drive a car, right? I can ride a bicycle, but I can't drive a car. Very good job, my dear class. Here, okay. yes? Uh, sorry, I have a question. Question in the Yeah, in the difference of the meaning or, or the use of ride and drive. What is the difference? Uh, or when you um, when you uh, have to use ride or drive? Because you can say I can drive the 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 bicycle. It's not correct that or no. Ride, as its name suggests. Let me see if I have a toy here. Uh, no, I don't have a toy. Ride. It means that you go on it, right? That you go like on the thing, right? That you need to manage it, right? With your hands or with your feet, right? That is to ride, right? Montar, montar okay. bicicleta, montar caballo, montar motocicleta, right? But oh, in okay. the car, as it has all the mechanic system, so you say, mm -hmm. I drive. That's the main difference. That ride, it's mainly for montar. Okay. And you go um, on a bicycle or a motorcycle or on a horse. Uh, what about when you go in a, um, let me think, uh, an airplane? You in that a... case, you uh, you can say, uh, as you are not going to drive the airplane, because I in like. that case you say, I fly. Oh, okay. okay. In the case, the pilot is the only one who does it, right? And you just <laughs> take take the plane, right? Okay. Like when you take a bus. And it doesn't mean that you take it right? Like this. Mm. I take the bus, you say. No, right? I take the bus is like that you go inside of it. Okay. Okay. That's, that's like the main difference here. Okay. Thank you. I need you to choose a person in the class and ask one of the questions here. I am going to do the example with Paola. Paola, can you cook? No. I can cook. No, I can't cook. Now, Paola is going to choose another person with anything from the list, and you are going to say, imagine that Paola chooses Carla Flores. Carla, can you speak two languages? Um, Carla. Okay. Go, Paola, go, go. Okay. Carla, can you, uh, sorry? Speak uh, two languages. Speak two languages. And I can't speak two language. Yes, you can. You can speak English and Spanish. So I you can, can say. I can speak two language. Very good job. I can, right? We say, I can speak two languages, right? Very good job. Now, Carla, ask another question to another person in the class with one of the verbs on the list. 
um, Aleida, you can play the piano. Can you? Can you, sorry, Aleida, can you play the piano? Uh, no, I can't play the piano. Aleida, another person, another question. Uh, let me see. I think it will be Rafael. Uh -huh. uh, can you play tennis? Can you play tennis, Rafael? Barrera o, o el otro? O o Rafael. O Alexander. <laughs> a lot okay. of <laughs> we a have lot a lot of red balls here. Okay, voy a contestar yo. Okay. Okay. I can't play the tennis. I can't play tennis, you say. Yes. Ah, oh, you can. Oh, good. Really? So say, I can play tennis. Okay. Rafael Antonio, ask Rafael Alexander. Rafael Alexander. You, can you can you swim swimming can you swim uh, i can't swim really you can yeah. well uh, like a rock <laughs> <laughs> survival mode yes <laughs> it's like uh, just to go to the age of the swimming pool good rafael another good. question um let me see yeah. uh Wilber Wilber Alberto no man uh, are you can, you can use can use a computer yes I can very good Wilber another question okay uh Eric Jose uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Can you sing? Uh, mm, I can sing. I can't sing. You say, oh my God. <laughs> Not even Baby Shark. No. Okay, Eric, the last question. Mm, uh, Magdiel. Okay, to Magdiel, go ahead. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> Question. Magdiel, can you... Uh -huh. Yes. Can you drive a car? Yes. I yes, can. I can. Very yes, good. I can drive a car. Very good job, right? Simple ways of answering. You say like, can you? Yes I can. yes, I can. Or no, I can't. Now, I need you to ask me questions. Teacher, can you? Go ahead. Teacher, can you drive a car? No, I can't. Oh, Only why? automatic and on straight line. <laughs> Only uh <-huh>. bicycle? <laughs> hey. No. Thank you. I can't. I can't ride a bicycle. Rafael, go ahead. Teacher, can you dance? Yes, I can. Any type of music. Teacher, yeah? can you speak another language? Um, je parle français un peu. Je un peu. And Spanish. He puede hablar español también. French. And French. French is just, just, just un peu. Just, uh, Je suis, uh, je m'appelle Nati. Je suis uh, en anglais. I don't remember what the rest. I, I got nervous. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can speak French just a little bit. It's very and difficult. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Um, je très bien. Et toi? Je ne peux parler français. Parler. Parler. Je l'ai italien. Parler. That's good. No, it's like. Um, <laughs> I, I just like, I can speak Pran just Francais. a little bit. Pan Francais, croissant. Oh, you see, those are French words that I know. No, I'm kidding. But I can just speak French just a little bit. Just for survival French. Okay, questions? Teacher, can you? 
teacher, can teacher, you swim? Can you swim? Okay, I can swim. Yeah, survival swimming. And singing, I can say, I think I can. I do it with passion and I think that counts. Next. Mm. Teacher, yep. uh, can you draw? Oh, uh, yeah. Palito things, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> palito palito <laughs> pictures are very good with me and emoticons and stickers. I can do it. What okay. else? Okay. Questions, questions. No more questions. Ten, nine. Yep. Can you play soccer? Uh, you know, I am not very good at sports. I mean, I, I like this type of, I play. If I have to play, I play. But I think I have something like a magnet there. Every time that I play, the ball hits me on the face. I don't know why. Basketball, softball, soccer, anything. Bah, on the face. All the time. I think I have a magnet for that. <laughs> but I, I do my best. Have questions? Five, four, three, two, one. No more questions. Okay. Thank you very much for your interaction with me. I can do many things, I think. Yeah, I can I can decorate, I can create the jewelry, I can draw, I can sing, I can dance, I can speak English, I can teach classes, I can uh, what else? Hmm. I am very good at shopping. <laughs> when I go to the supermarket, I am very organized with the list and everything and the prices. Yeah, my husband hates it, but I love it. So <laughs> it is like, mm -mm -mm, that is not on the list. Put it back, put it back. Pero son churrito. No, 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 no. Put it back. <laughs> so I think I can do many things. I am going to call the attendance for the second time. And remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Okay. So just to make sure that all of us are here and that we were in the class. Here I go. Chan, chan, chan. So far, so good. Let me see. Alay de Esmeralda. Present teacher. Andrea Sofia. Eh, Blanca Alejandra. Carlos Eduardo. Here. César Romero. Eh, Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth. Horacio Jose. Here. Jose Luis Ramos. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Present teacher. Carla Guadalupe. Carlita Guadalupe. Flores. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Paolita. Paolita, Paolita. Hey, Paola was here some minutes ago. Okay. Uh, Rafael Alexander and Rafael Antonio. Uh, present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Here. Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. And Magdiel Esau. I'm here, teacher. <coughs> okay, very good job. Thank you Present very teacher. much. Thank you. Who am I missing? A quien me salte. Uh, Hernan Antonio. Hernan Antonio. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check. Let me check. Uy, bad teacher. Hernan Antonio Chacón. Present. You see. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back. And did I miss anybody else? No? 
Good. Okay, my dear class, let's go back to the presentation. This is going to happen two times during our class. So you can actually know and you can actually prove that you were in the session during the two hours that I haven't felt every minute because it's it has been so fast. I have here I have here a couple of questions that I need you to answer for me. It says only from one to 10 in your notebook and you are going to write the answer on your notebook. Don't copy the question, only the answer, okay? And here you have, can you speak English well? How are you going to answer here in this case? You say, yes, I can, right? Let me do it in black because in yellow, we cannot see it. So you say, yes, I can. Or no, I can't. Right, you have the two options of answer here. You can say, yes, I can't or no, I can't, right? Can you speak Spanish? Can you ride a bike? Do you like music? Are you a good student? Do you like your English class? Can you sing Japanese songs? Do you ever go skiing? Do you ever go swimming? Can you design a web page, right? I need you to write the answer only, okay? Del uno al diez en su cuaderno and you write the answers of the questions. Go ahead. Let me know when you finish, please. Finish. Okay, Wilber, thank you. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Aleida. Remember, as soon as we finish, we are going to go and practice a little bit on this one. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's go over a couple of questions. I am going to choose different people and I'm going to ask a question. And you're going to give me your answer, okay? Let me see. Uh, Mr. Hernan Antonio, are you a good student? Yes, I can. not Okay, Ching! this is the example and the sentence that I wanted. Are you a good student? What is the answer for that one? Yes, I? Yes, I do. I am. Mm, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right? yes, I am. Because this is a yes. sentence with yes, the yes. verb to be. Yes, I, am, I, am. I am testing your basic knowledge, right? Say, yes, I am. 
Good. Are you? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Same. Right. Same. Very good job. Same. Okay. Aquí no pasó nada, Hernán. Yo no le he preguntado nada. <coughs> Let's start. <laughs> We're going to start with Hernán Antonio. Are you ready? ready? Hernán, are you a good student? Yes, I am. Very good job. Excellent answer. I love when my students answer this way. Very good. Let's see. Number three. This is for Jose Luis. Can you ride a bike? No, I can ride a bike. Thank you very much. You are on my same team. Let's go for Aleida. Do you ever go swimming? Aleida, do you ever go swimming? Uh, yes, I do, teacher. Yes, I do, right? Very good. And in this case, you can also say, Yes, I always go swimming or yes, I sometimes go swimming, right? Or no, I never go swimming, oh, right? Those okay. are other answers, but your answer is very good. Okay. Rafael Alexander, can you design a web page? No, I can't. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Wilber Alberto, can you design a web page? I cannot. Oh my God. Horacio, can you design a web page? Yes, I can. Very good job, right? Yes, I can, right? Let me see. Rafael Antonio, do you like your English class? Yes, I am. Yes, I? Yes, I am. Aha. Uh -huh. The question is, do you like your English class? So you say, yes, I? Yeah, I do. Very yes, good I job. Do. Very good job. Yes, I do. I love when you give your own answer, right? Cuando ustedes mismos encuentran su respuesta. Right? I love that. Yes, I do. Very good job. Let's see. Eric Jose Hernandez, can mm -hmm. you speak Spanish? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can, right? Native Spanish. Native <laughs> Spanish. That's the best, the best Spanish that you can. To learn Spanish is the most difficult thing in the world. Okay. Agradezcan. Agradezcan que todos nosotros nacimos hablando español ya. Aquí, ya cuando nacimos ya traíamos el chip. Es uno de los idiomas más difíciles de aprender. Así que cuando vean ahí a alguien que está aprendiendo español, ayúdenle. It is a, it is a very difficult language. Let me see. Carlos Torres, can you sing any Japanese songs? No, I can't. Hmm. And let me see, I'm missing one question. Ah, let's see. I am going to ask Andrea Sofia. Can you speak English well? And yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good job. And let me see. Ah, Nelson, do you like music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good job. Yes, I do. Do you like? Yes, I do. Are you? Yes, I am. Can you? Yes, I can. Remember that because you are going to use it in the meantime and during the rest of the class. Well, my dear students, time really flies when you have fun. And it is time for us to go to bed. I need you please for tomorrow to watch the videos that are on the manual, right? You have two videos there on the manual. You can watch the videos. You can play them in English with subtitles in English for you to get more information about qualifications in a resume, okay? And also how to talk about education. You find the links on the document that I shared. And tomorrow we are going to keep practicing the use of can and can't, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed your class and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Bye, teacher. Have a beautiful night. I am going to stay with Aleida for a couple of minutes and for the yeah. rest of you, thank you very much. Espero que hayan pasado una super buena clase conmigo, que la hayan disfrutado yes. y pues nos vemos mañana. Okay, have a beautiful night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, Bye. my dear Bye. class. Same time, same link. Bye-bye. Okay, I will stay with Aleida for a couple of seconds, just a couple of minutes, Aleida.
Yes, it is okay. No worry. <laughs> okay, Aleida, tell me, uh, well, it is a pleasure to be here with you. You are the lucky one to be the first one because then you get rid of this. Right? You say like, yeah, I was the first one. So you don't have to worry about anything later. On. <laughs> no. Okay, Aleida, eh, es un gusto de ver a servirle y pues quedarme un ratito con usted para platicar, para compartir y pues eh, preguntarle primero, eh, ¿cómo se sintió en clase? Uh, la verdad es que me sentí muy bien. Eh, me ha gustado mucho su, uh, su dinámica. Siento que es una persona muy dinámica haciéndole esa observación. Me encanta su ritmo de eh, fluido para hablar el inglés y que es, lo entiendo muy bien. Me encanta. Entonces eso me hace sentir que, que no estoy tan mal en mi nivel de inglés hasta el momento y pues que voy a aprender mucho más con usted. La verdad que me he sentido muy bien y con los compañeros pues eh, me siento bastante bien. Se ve que todos trabajan, que, que son personas que están trabajando pues Entonces sí. creo que todos andamos como en el mismo nivel este, de responsabilidad. Exactamente. So it is good that all of you like interact. I really love to interact with students. I love to make people speak because that's the purpose of the language. In many of the cases, if you are just with grammar, just with this, just with that, it is impossible to practice. So I really love to practice the language with the students. So Aleida, what are some of the things that you consider are the most difficult for you according to English? I mean, about English. What are the, the most difficult parts that you want to improve? Um, okay. I think that I really want to improve my pronunciation, my fluency, and, um, okay, I think there are four, four aspects. Uh, the fluency, my vocabulary, um, the pronunciation, and, um, and the grammar. I think, <laughs> the grammar. I, yeah, I think that I, I need to improve my, my grammar because in my work, um, I used, uh, okay, I have incoming calls and I have albums, correct? Uh -huh. And my calls are around 65% in Spanish and the other percent is in English. Okay. And, I speak with, um, okay, um, I speak with many people in, in, United, in the United States. As you know, there are uh, sometimes are not native English. No. Uh, yeah. A sometimes, lot of accents. Yes, because uh, sometimes I, I speak with um, Indian people. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Arabic <so> people. <laughs> it's very difficult. It's very difficult. And uh, I really, I really um, love to do my job, but I, I think I need to improve uh, my pronunciation, my fluency, and my vocabulary. But sometimes, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go, go, go. continue, okay, continue. Thank you. Um, but sometimes I have to uh, uh, write emails, and I feel that it's very hard for me. Uh, to um to create them yeah to create them or or to to communicate the um the main idea with uh, in a in a short in a short email correct i know i know and something that helps a lot it's like for example to stop thinking in spanish in many of the cases we want to say things exactly as what we say in spanish or we go and we just translate that is the biggest problem that you can create with the language right to translate exactly like that or just to get the things from Spanish because the idea for you might sound correct but for the person that is going to read it will be like hmm? Hmm. and the message can be like different or incorrect and in matters of business I think it's a big problem so yeah. uh, in order to improve to improve sorry your pronunciation and your vocabulary I always recommend that if you have, for example, an English book or English articles, or if you can access to pages in English, do some reading out loud practice, okay? It might sound crazy, but it's very useful. De repente agarras un párrafo, un artículo o algo que esté en inglés y lo lees en voz alta. 
cuando empezás a leer en voz alta te das cuenta, así como, uy, my pronunciation is not very good. Or, mm, no, maybe this word is not correct. Another thing that helps a lot is when you record yourself. For example, on WhatsApp, you can create a group with yourself oh, okay. and you can create voice notes about different things from your day. It's like, today was a very difficult day. I did this and this and this and this and this. And you record yourself and you listen to yourself or you ask someone else to listen, right? Si tienes a alguien más que habla inglés, por ejemplo, algún conocido tuyo o algún compañero de la clase o si lo puedes hacer en el grupo de WhatsApp, igual, te puedes grabar un mensaje y enviarlo para que el otro lo pueda escuchar y diga, hey, fíjate que aquí no, no entendí lo que me quería decir o aquí el mensaje se perdió o esta palabra la pronunciaste distinto. O si de repente no tenemos quien nos pueda revisar la nota de voz, hacerlo todos los días. Y gradualmente te vas a ir escuchando y vas a decir, no, this is not like this. This is not like that. Right? And you are going to be improving on your own. And about the grammar, the best thing that you can do is a lot of reading. You can do a lot of reading. You can look for examples of emails online. Right? Busquemos ejemplos de correos en inglés. Y puedes ir viendo ideas, frases. Muchos de los correos electrónicos se basan por muchas frases que ya están como prehechas. Entonces, buscar en internet, así como ejemplo de correos en inglés. And then you start. And read. Try to read a lot for you to get ideas. And so you can improve the interaction that you have with people online. Right? Try to simplify everything. Don't try to say like, it's a problem in Spanish that you say. Y fíjese que no sé qué, uh -huh. pero la verdad que le quería contar, pero eso no es lo más importante, o sea, lo más importante, and then you kind of flower the language. Uh -huh. In English yeah. is straight to the point. It's like, we need 10 boxes of this. We need 10 cars of this, right? To the point. But uh -huh. you have to be polite, right? A yeah. good introduction, a good closing, and the main idea, right? It's like, okay. hi, good morning. I just wanted to comment that, boom straight to the point, right? Okay. We complicate emails a lot. I help a friend with her English emails and she says like, pero decirle que es un gusto que esté bien y que espero que su familia esté bendecida. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, it's like to the point. They are not going to read it, right? It is like, hi, good morning. It is a pleasure to greet you or to say hello through this way. And then boom, message, right? Okay. But reading examples of emails online helps a lot. If I find some of them or business writing, I am going to share it with you. Okay, okay thank you. So for me, it's a great pleasure. You know that you can count on me to help you with anything. If you need help with some vocabulary or something that you get stuck with, let me know and I will be more than glad to assist you. Oh, okay, have a beautiful so night. A for me too. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to to be part of this and to be part of your learning process. Have a wonderful night, sleep tight, okay. and I'm going to see okay, you tomorrow good. morning. No, okay. tomorrow good. evening. Tomorrow evening. Okay, have a good have day. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.